Hello and welcome to the Canada for Cam and Law of Legal Podcast. This edition we look at the living will, also known as the advanced directive. So we, we recommend people uh, have those because uh, uh, nobody wants to have to have their family ask what to do when um, you know someone is ill in the hospital, not, not conscious. So uh, the living will is a great document because uh, uh, someone can express what their wishes are and it takes the stress off the family. So in the living will, there's a section that says, okay, I'm in a coma, irreversible condition. Um, would I want to have fluids and, and nutrition to be provided or withheld? And then the next section says, uh, deals with art, artificial means. And most people say, I don't want anything done uh, if there's no hope for me to regain consciousness. We also provide a uh, uh, medical authorization under the federal HIPAA law so that the person that's selected can discuss the matter with doctors and, and hospitals and medical providers. So similar to a power of attorney, you have a number one person, a number one medical attorney in fact, and then a second person if that uh, person can't do it. Uh, we also recommend that someone sign an organ donor uh, section that uh, um, they're giving the consent to have organ donations done. Uh, and uh, we, what we typically do is we draft the document, we mail it to our client, client comes in, we sign it in the office, and uh, they take the original home, and we recommend that they provide copies of that to their family and to their, their doctors. For additional information on living wills, visit website njlaws.com or website njwillsprobatelaw.com. And for the preparation of living wills or other legal documents in New Jersey, contact the laws of Kenneth Verkamen in Edison at 732-572-0500. Thank you.